Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber. What we're going to present in this video is new information, a paradigm shift necessary when selling and valuing electric vehicles since the old fossil fuel burner used vehicle valuation guidelines are not the same for EVs. Today I want to talk to you about a customer who's trying to sell their Tesla Roadster on our Tesla Roadster matchmaking site. This listing is for a 90,000 mile Roadster posted by an owner who is leaving the country on a deadline and it was repriced below market value to stimulate a sale. Now, Roadsters are typically lower mileage cars not driven as daily drivers and the 90,000 miles spooked a lot of potential buyers who were applying ICE vehicle valuation rules with mileage being the main barometer of value. The fundamental change in valuation between the two types of vehicles is that ICE vehicles have a large number of mechanical components that wear with use or mileage, whereas EVs have components that wear due to age, whether you're adding miles or not. Some estimates are that ICE vehicles have 1,800 moving parts, whereas EVs only have about 18 to 20 moving parts. Now, common shared wear items between the two types of vehicles, ICE and EV, are things like bushings. These are rubber sleeves that eventually dry up, become brittle, and whatever is inside becomes loose and begins to rattle. Brakes, tires, and unlike internal combustion engine vehicles, there are no engines with bearings, extensive plumbing, exhaust plumbing, emission controls and sensors, transmissions, drive shafts, alternators, starter motors, fuel systems, and fuel delivery components in an electric vehicle. In an electric vehicle, wear items have much more to do with aging electronic components, like electrolytic capacitors, in this Tesla Roadster Power Electronic Module, for example, there are 21 large electrolytic capacitors that have an eight-year shelf life. This PEM is 14 years old. These electrolytic capacitors wear whether the car is being driven or not. There are also engineering problems in some of these older Tesla Power Electronic Modules, such as decaying insulating materials for the transistors. They're going to deteriorate whether the car is used or not. And then finally, there's outdated software and firmware. The GPS systems in a Tesla Roadster is a prime example. Applying the same valuation standards to electric vehicles based on mileage is an unfair comparison. So don't be spooked by a higher mileage electric vehicle as the same rules do not apply and enjoy the devaluation due to mileage because it won't last forever when people figure out that those rules just can't be applied. Check out our variety of used roadsters for sale on our website. It's called the Roadster Matchmaking site at grubermotors.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pete Gruber. See you next time.